Okay, not too long ago, I made a video on Captionator for Final Cut Pro. It's basically the way to get automatically subtitled stuff that you apply to the video almost automatically in Final Cut Pro. Well, Captionator has got an update, and it's a pretty big update. It uses Whisper to smartly add the captions more accurate now. So I did a line of dialogue here, and we are going to actually go ahead and go through all the steps. I actually made a whole video covering how to install it, how to use it for the first time and whatnot. So we are just going to get into it here. We will start off by going to the share and selecting captionator as the option, okay? And then after we select captionator as an option, we'll hit next, it will ask us where we want to save it. These are the release notes apparently, it kind of just popped it up, apparently it asks, it asks where you want to save it a bit later on, you know, because it's a bit different, it's a bit updated. We're going to go ahead and close that for now, though. Apparently, there's a bunch of different options. The Beast would be, I guess, as close as you can get to Mr. Beast-style text. Then these are other YouTubers within the Final Cut pro space that have the unique style. Let's go with, let's just go with the beast. Yeah, we go with the beast because we can. And then we're going to go to advanced because we actually want to change this to the color white because our background is a bit darker. And we will probably put the width up a bit. The captions right here, we we would just do titles. We don't need captions, captions. So we'll stick with titles. And then we'll hit generate. And then they will ask you where, which library you want it. We are going to choose this library. And then here are our captions, okay? So, we are going to go ahead and hit Command-C to copy. Go back to our file. Go right at the beginning here and hit Command-V to paste. We actually didn't paste it at the beginning like we were supposed to. There we go. It's right at the start of that, so let's actually play it back and see what happens there. Okay, I do hear it actually, I played it back, thought it made a few mistake, mistakes, but, you know, easily fixed, and let's see. Because Count lost, I don't know. See, what's interesting is it actually put a period. It doesn't usually put any kind of periods or anything. So, that is interesting. And it got, um, it got most of it, right? One jump, two, now see, Two, I don't blame it for, okay. See, it kind of couldn't discern what, which, you know, two meant and whatnot. But this is the update, okay. It's better than normal, I feel like. And just like the old-fashioned ways, if we wanted to just move everything up or move everything down, we could do it with ease, you know. We could just go here, decide we 
want everything to be here or if we want everything to be up here we could just do it no problem and then there we go and then that jump we take out the what you know we actually don't want any like periods and stuff but it's interesting that it added them i've never seen it add them before so that's that's a little interesting maybe that will playing around in the future but yeah let me know what you guys think of this do you guys think that this made captionator better worth picking up do you think it made it worse do you think you're just better off doing your own captions let me know what you think of all of it in the comment section below. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Also, remember I mentioned at the beginning, I do have a video where I go over all the details on how to use Captionator. There will be a link in the description below to said video. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later. Mm -hmm.